Good evening, YouTube. My name's uh, Rob Pollard. I'm the sole developer for Sojour, the Solo VTT. This is going to be a short video to give you folks a little bit of a preview of the new custom folders functionality, which uh, many of you have been asking for. Now, as I say, this is really early days, so uh, please bear with me. There's a lot more work to do. And the reason for that is uh, initially I thought, yep, let's have the custom folders that the customers want. But then I realized that once you have folders, you have to do other things like have the ability to be able to drag and drop things between folders and areas, the ability to copy things, and also really to duplicate things. And these are, this is functionality that Sojour's never had in the past. So I've had to add that in. And of course, there's a huge testing burden with that. So the intent is you can be able to create your own folder structures under campaign assets, documents, journals, maps, tables, and document templates. Um, and that should enable you to better structure your data. So uh, here's one of my uh, really old campaigns. And what we're going to do, we're going to play around with journals and maps just to show you uh, show you the functionality working, basically. Because it's, it's one thing for me to blog what I'm up to, but actually seeing it working will probably give you folks a little bit more confidence that we're headed the right way. And of course, you can ask questions on this YouTube video uh, if uh, there's anything uh, you want to know about, or perhaps uh, there's some functionality you're thinking, hmm, why doesn't it do that? And then you can uh, raise your questions. So this looks pretty much like a normal uh, Soja campaign. The only difference is now you can create folders. So let's call this a journal folder. And we'll, we'll create one under maps as well. And what you'll find, these folders inherit the functionality of their parents, like you can add maps into the folder directly or rename uh, the map folder and so forth. And the same with journals, there you can add a journal. Uh, so it kind of inherits the menus from above it. Uh, and speaking of which, uh, these folders, uh, I guess the limitation is they can only hold one kind of asset. So all your folders under journals can only hold journals and all your folders under maps can only hold maps. And, uh, so for example, if we take this existing uh, journal and we drag it, if we try to drag it to the map folder, see um, on the corner of the journal, it's got a little no entry side, that's because you can't drag it there, but you can drag it to um, obviously a journal folder uh, and the same thing works like sort of vice versa you've got your if you drag a, a map you can't drag it to a journal folder you get the little no entry but you can drag it to a map folder so all good so far now this system is flexible insofar as uh, you can go as many folders deep as you want so you know let, let's go add some more folders so um sorry about the naming <laughs> Uh, let's create a folder over there. Let's go a little bit nuts. But the idea is you, you should be able to basically uh, structure your data pretty much how you want to structure it. So there you go. So we got a. Uh, uh, should we go one more? Let's do another one. <laughs> So we've gone a little bit crazy with our folder structure. And of course, you can drag and drop things wherever you want them. Um, you can also drag back up to root. So if you want to drag this back up to journals, you can do that as well. Uh, and uh, as I said, because these folders inherit the functionality of their parents, you can do stuff in them. For instance, in this one, we can create a brand new journal. I'm going to call test because I can't think of anything right now and so forth and you, you can drag and drop folders as well so for example uh, this uh, another folder say i don't want it under journal folder maybe i want it under journals i can actually go grab that and drag it up to that level as well so you know really really flexible system uh, and i hope uh, you folks being able to see it all working it's going to give you uh, a little bit more confidence that we're headed the right way so that's it. It is a short video because uh, I guess there's not too much to see. 
uh, please be patient to me. Um, th th this functionality, it's it went hand in hand with a big refactor, which if you read my blog, you know all about that. And the thing with refactors and the thing with this functionality as well is that I'm personally going to need to do a lot of testing to make sure uh, everything's good before I send it out to you. So yeah, uh, have a little bit, a bit of patience. Now, in addition to this, um, just keep you abreast with things. Uh, there's a release going out as this video goes out and that's a, uh, a bug fixing release. Uh, which fixes a whole bunch of things, including uh, it, loading and savings now a lot more robust. Uh, you get given more options if things go wrong during loading, for example, whereas you, you didn't get those in the past. Uh, there'll be more information in the blog on that. But also a, a huge amount of work has gone into the Calendar Mark II system, which I can't show you here because that's on another branch. Um, but again, if you visit my blog, you'll be able to see what the new Calendar system Will be able to do for you and speaking of branches one of the things that's i've been uh, i guess been giving me a lot of hassle is i now have like three main work streams i got the main branch which is the one that you folks have in your hands i have this folders branch which covers all this great folders functionality that you're seeing here i also have the calendar mark 2 branch and um it, it could be problematic making sure that merges or sorry functionality that adds one branch ends up in the others as well and it's not as simple as merging because for example this folders branch has markedly different architecture so uh, I, I kind of always have to pop into it by hand and and bring things across in the main branch so again that like kind of slows me down um, but the reason for all these uh, branches it, it's a case of priorities and that there's only me so for example if a user reports a crash and i take crashes pretty seriously and i will endeavor uh, to get a fix out as soon as i can if a user re reports a crash but because of that it means that i then have to switch to a main branch uh, do the fixes for them make sure those fixes end up in the other branches and then deliver you uh, the fixed functionality um, slots moving around because uh, the problem I had is that the calendar work is huge. Like It's really, really huge. And uh, I was very conscious, especially with my limited time this year, that by spending so long on calendars, you folks weren't seeing anything new. <laughs> uh, I was deep in this black hole doing stuff and, and you weren't getting anything, uh, which isn't quite what I want. I, I want you folks to re receive new functionality. And indeed, there is a huge pipeline of, of new stuff that will be coming to Zojal. Uh, uh, both stuff that you folks have recommended and, and stuff that uh, I've uh, decided it needs. Uh, but I say, please be patient. Uh, there's only me working on it. It's not my day job. I'm a, a web developer by day, uh, and that in of itself can be quite hectic. So uh, yeah, bear with me and um, uh, and hopefully you'll get to enjoy the fruits of my labor. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you for watching and uh, goodbye.